It's late spring and we're just starting to pick acerolas. And these are these beautiful red little fruits and they're packed in vitamin C. So one of these is like eating an apple and they're really delicious. They're quite juicy and they've got a lovely mix of sweet and sour. So if you like things with a little bit of tang, you're going to love the acerola. They also grow on quite a beautiful shrub. So you can see behind me it's very dense and it can be quite heavy. So if you want to grow one in your garden, it's a good idea to put a nice sturdy stake to it to keep it strong in the ground. They can have a tendency to pull themselves over with the weight of the plant if the soil gets very wet. So during wet weather that we get here in the subtropics, they can topple unless you have them well staked. The other thing you can do to avoid that is keep it pruned. So keep it well maintained, cut it back once it gets to about this size. So when it finishes fruiting, take about a third or half off it and that'll keep it nice and vigorous and keep it small and compact. But when you're pruning, it's a good idea to wear long sleeve shirt and gloves because the foliage is covered with tiny irritating hairs. So if you wear a short sleeve shirt, you'll find yourself quite itchy afterwards. They're like stinging nettles, but not as severe. So they give you tiny little stings. They're quite irritating on the skin, so it'll make you very itchy. So if you're working with this plant, make sure you do protect your skin with a long sleeve shirt. You can see it's quite a beautiful plant when it's got the fruit on it. And also in flower, it has lovely pastel pink blossoms that make it look beautiful when it's in flower early spring. So this is the acerola. We love it. And you're going to enjoy these beautiful little tasty fruits. Mmm, lovely mix of sweet and sour. I adore these, that's the acerola.